Okay, so everything's in a different place because I realized I had made a mistake and need to go back. So we have the switch installed, we have the battery installed. Before I had put this up there, but there's a problem because it interferes with these connections on the Pi. So we need to install the regulator on the bottom side. with yourself when you make mistakes that cost you, you know, an hour of your day. Um, it's important to look at the positive side. Like, um, we learned that this can be installed upside down or right side up, or on either side of the plate. That's a good thing to know. Um, I got a little more practice using an Allen wrench. Not really a skill I had hoped to become great at in life, but hey, I'm a little better now. Um, I'm going to install this fan next. This fan blows that direction, so air will, air will be blowing upwards at the Pi. And for this, we're going to thread on the little nuts. little guys right here. Okay. Okay. The other good thing is if I hadn't made this mistake, I could have just uploaded this video. No need to do any editing. Done it right from my phone while I'm laying in bed, all tired, just ready to end the day. But now I get to do some video editing. A really old, slow computer, which is super fun. But on the bright side, I will get a little better at video editing. Whereas if I hadn't done this, my skills would slip a little bit. And the next time I wanted to edit, I would be in an even worse spot. Okay, we're going to put these standoffs on the Raspberry Pi. Um, these are M2.5 standoffs. Um, they come as part of the kit that's called out in the Bill of Materials. So these standoffs are uh, specifically made for the Pi, and they come with all the bolts and nuts and everything, so it's a nice little kit to pick up because it also comes with this header which can save you a little bit of hassle uh, because they're exactly the right height to use with this header. Okay, so we're putting in those M25s. All of the other hardware was M3. Um, this hardware is M4, all the standoffs. So we'll just finger tighten that. That should be good. Put this guy in here this way, and then we'll put these eatsy beatsy tiny little M 2.5 washers on here. This, the reason I only finger tighten the other side is this, um, for some reason, these tend to tighten up on their own really nicely. Like, I just have to turn the nut on this one side, and you can feel the whole stack of standoff and, and even the bolt on the Pi tightening up nicely. So, I'll get this last nut on. As I explained in the last the last time I did this video, I lost one of the nuts, so 
we'll use this other standoff. And this is the only pliers I have, so we'll just tighten it that way. We are almost done with this video. Um, next thing is these standoffs. So basically you're just going to build up um, two different stacks. Um, the kit I specified just comes with a bunch of standoffs. And these M4 rubber isolators are also in the build materials. So all you're going to do is make one stack about the length of your pie. I don't know, maybe three and a half inches. And the other stack about an inch and a quarter. All you're worried about is that you're standing the bottom side up um, above the height of the battery. And then just um, connect these in here. Like that. These over here. Like that. Here, oops, over here like this. Thanks for watching.